Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Todd coming at you with another episode of Living Your Best Life. Hope you guys are having an awesome day out there. Uh, and I definitely want to thank you for giving some of your time wherever you are in the world right now and whenever you are in the world. But uh, of course, what we do on our show is on, on this show here, we invite a professional on to talk about what they do and how their particular profession is contributing to a better society, a healthier society, henceforth living your best life. So I have a really, really special gentleman on this afternoon, Mr. Charles Jojo Tyler. And uh, he's out of the New York area and awesome, man. I, I, I'll, I'll, start it by, I'll start it by this. I went to his um, website and it, it just brought me in. Everything that he was doing, I was like, I've got to know who this guy is. I've got to find out what he's doing and how, once again, he's helping people live their best life. So um, without further ado, and without me really just giving you the introduction of who he is, I want to uh, uh, say thank you so much, Jojo, for hanging out with us. And definitely, man, tell us a little bit about who you are and your passion about health and wellness and all that good stuff. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Todd. I appreciate it. It's an honor to be here. And who's ever out there, health is wealth. Um, yeah, me, JoJo's Energy Charles, JoJo Tyler. And uh, fitness is kind of my lifestyle. And it just came about since I would say, since I was maybe 12 years old, I've always been an athlete all my life. But it's something about helping other people understanding health and wellness is really what my goal is now. Uh, so I've been in the industry for about 27 years and I'm grateful for it. And I have a lot of experience in that, but also I'm still learning. I always keep my mind open and I'm still learning. Everybody's still teachable. But my goal is that if I can make someone have fun while they're getting in shape, then I've done my job. Awesome. And I think that's so important, that, that three-letter word there, fun, because so many of us, we make it such a chore. And oh, yeah. I think that's really what, what appealed to me about your website, because in a lot of your, uh, your, your videos, you make exercise look fun. <laughs> well, yeah. So, well, yeah. Well, you're talking about urban rebounding, the miniature trampoline class, and that's yeah, very popular. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I played I play five characters in that uh, 2006. You can get it on Amazon. And um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I played a Latin kid. I played an African kid. And I play uh, yoga bound, uh, sort of like Shandi or Shama. And that's how the Shama came up. And also okay. worked with oldies but goodies. And, and I did a, a little bit of um, hip hop, too, as well. And yeah. variety. So that's what's fun. But what it is is that it's a miniature rebounder trampoline. And it's the mm -hmm. concept of how you're doing it, which brings blood flow into the internal organs. This is working your kidneys, your liver, your spleen. Wow. So it's an internal job while you're laughing. It's sort of like you, you're bouncing on the bed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. And that eventually you're going to laugh. But also, <laughs> and, and, and I don't want to go too deep, but I can go with the science behind it. So when everybody's going up into space, a lot of astronauts, when they come back, they do urban rebound. Yes, they do. Why? Wow. Because it's a gravitational force of acceleration, right? Deceleration yes. on a vertical plane. Now, we're talking science here, people. I'll explain later, but what that means is this. If you weigh 150 pounds times two, that's mm -hmm. what you're doing on the rebounder. That's why you only can be up there for 20 minutes. And... Um, I, I love that product. I mean, I went to London, Italy, uh, QVC, Home <laughs> Shopping Network. We were trying to really sell this product because it's what you talk about. It's about health and wellness and living your best life. Yes. And have fun while you're doing it. <laughs> have fun while you're doing it. <laughs> well, you know, you uh, you mentioned like, you know, you talked about the rebounder program that you that you work with. But I also noticed you've got some other things in your background in terms of the services that you do offer. So what are some of the things that you do and what are the things you have going on in the background there? Well, in the background is it's, 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 it, it turns into uh, what I'm dealing with that day far as clients is concerned. Yeah. So, you know, I, I work with women in prenatal and postnatal. They mm -hmm. say that whenever I work with a woman who wants to get pregnant, I always make sure it, it works out for some strange reason because I understand <laughs> the body. But 
Yeah, I have, of course, resistance ball. I have my chair and I have my towel here. And that's for when I work with my seniors as well. And that population has grown so much to Silver yeah. Sneakers program. Yeah. A lot of people are now in their 50s and they're not able to be as mobile as they used to be. Um, so I'm working with them in a chair to make it feel a little bit easier. So this is my so-called, I say, virtual uh, gym. Okay. 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 Awesome. So you have it really laid out nice. You got the plants back there and, and, and everything. So I love that. That's the yoga part. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you know, like, it's so funny, Todd, listen, I got so much, so much equipment. It depends on that client. If I can bring a body bar out, a 12 pound body bar. Yes. uh, Yes. Exactly. Uh, We can do a bar class, which I'm holding on to the chair. I teach a wide variety of things. This is why I'm the Shama of fitness is because of that reason, not just teaching, but I, I look at the person, I feel the energy and I see how I can design a program for them in this virtual world. Now, uh, gotcha. normally, when I see you in person, it's a little bit easier because I can touch it and feel you a little bit. But now that we couldn't do that, I had to feel the energy through the screen. Right, 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 right. So the room change, the room changes all the time. <laughs> and that's pretty cool then that's pretty cool you just really have to like you know just be a a, a, a chameleon in that in that regards just changing with what the exactly. environment is so that's awesome man so you know i've heard you bring up the word shaman a couple times and of course you know shaman is a term that this this side of the world isn't too used to and right. could you can you share with us a little bit about what a shaman is and your thoughts you know just to kind of like you know clarify yeah, sure. I mean, shaman is a lot of people think of shaman as voodoo or a person yeah. that conducting evil spirits right. or trying to find your soul. And you know what? You're right. That happens too as well. But yeah. also yeah. the shaman, the shaman knows your energy and knows your spirit and knows your ancestors as wow. well as know where you need to be at in your life in the past, the present, and now. Now for me, um, how I got, I got that through in 2006, but I discovered Shama really through Shamas, um, Mm -hmm. where you practice medicine. And and what I mean by medicine was that you would sit in a circle, Mm -hmm. it could be somewhere upstate New York, and you will drink a herbal tea or plant medicine, it's not a drug, and you sit and it was sort of like you would listen to uh, your Shama who would do chants. And these chants, believe it or not, in yoga terms are mantras. Uh, and in, ooh, so wow. what happens to people might, you know, people call people, call, I always say my church people, it's the same thing <laughs> as you're praising your higher power, your God, yeah. <laughs> and you're not preaching to a God, but you're feeling that spirit. Yeah. And some people go through different elements. Some people purge different yeah. ways. And, and some people, what we call the Kundalini energy. And Kundalini oh, yeah. is the serpent energy, Inga mm-hmm. and Pinga. And that's mm-hmm. what I experienced. And, I, and then they sat me down and they honored me and they gave me the gift of Shama of fitness. Um, oh, and man. it kind of made sense because growing up as an African-American, I kind of did football, like a little bit of this. I, I just never could stay in one particular sport. Right. So, and I, but I, because I would master it in my head, I would mm-hmm. know it and then I would have to move on. Yeah, yeah. Man, that is so cool. I am so glad I asked that question <laughs> because you kind of like cleared some things up for me with that one. Right well, well, I mean, Todd, there are some negative elements of the Shama. Uh, we do tell you what you need to have done if you're a diabetic. Okay. Or heart condition, we go right in with you and say, wow. what do you wow. mind? Because sometimes you need that tough love. And, you know, I'd rather have tough love than having me go to the hospital finding out what happened. And now I got to find out how I can get rid of it. Right, right. And you're right. We do need the tough love at times. And I think that's where we're, that's what we're missing most of the time is that tough love. And you know what? I love what you've done with your particular business. Um, is that you found a way to merge the two together. And this is why I say this, when I mean fitness and spirituality. Now, I myself, I have a, a very holistic approach to my overall business. But what I noticed with you is that you do speak about things like, you know, the Kundalini and the, the chakras and things like that. So you've merged the two together because a lot of times in us, and, I, and, and I, I'm, I'm not trying to belittle uh, Western culture, 
But what I will say is that we are about doing, 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 where some of the Eastern mythologies and, and, and philosophies is about being. Right. And so, you know, you've kind of like connected the two awesomely. And, uh, you know, and I, I definitely applaud you for that. And so uh, how, what, what kind of like motivated you to do that? Uh, you know what really motivated me? I, I would say I did a workshop for the five Tibetan rites in mm -hmm. Newark, in, in Newark, New Jersey for college students. And okay. this is a predominantly black college student, uh, students mm -hmm. there. And I know that, that they were really, they want to know more about other cultures as well, but they also didn't realize that their history of yoga was a part of them too as well. Acupuncture, mm -hmm. all of these things they never heard of before. And what I would do, I would go there every week and bring pamphlets so that they would understand the Eastern part. Okay. And then, okay. So, so it goes to a point where that I'm the type of trainer, if you come in and you smoke cigarettes, I'm not yeah. going to tell you to stop smoking cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Because eventually the Eastern is going to meet you. That spirituality, that, that when you're trying to take that deep breath, why, oh, eventually you're going to want to stop. And then this is maybe you might yeah. want to go to the acupuncture. This is when you go yeah. to the Eastern part, for the healing yeah. part. So they, yeah. do, they do work together. You just got to figure out what your situation is and how you can mend them together. That's right. why they need us, because they don't know. This is why you need to hire yeah. me. And I'm there for <laughs> you. Yoga for soul, yeah. yoga for energy. And I, I tune into that. And I can tell you your exact nature. To connect the two. I mean, you know, I could talk about chakras forever. Uh, um, yeah. Chakras is, is what the alignment of our body is. There are seven chakras. Right. And some chakras can be a little bit, as I say, spinning out of control and like for example right now we're going through a lot of violence and we're mm -hmm. going through a lot of communication this is your fifth chakra and a lot mm -hmm. of people are speaking the truth because mm -hmm. with george floyd just get on that that was the, what we call a telepathic energy that was your sixth chakra the wisdom we saw the third eye we saw something and that spirituality that's connected here and everybody no matter what color you were had that spirituality of understanding that that was wrong, humbleness. So yeah. we're in the lower chakras right now. We're in number one, which is going to be your survival. How am I going to survive? That's number yeah. one, everybody. I'm just going to go quickly. How are you going to survive? How are you going to eat? How are you going to make money? All of that. Then we go to number two. And if I go right here, that's my navel. And this chakra right here is your emotional energy. And guess what, everyone? This is your creative energy, but guess what? Your emotional energy can be you're eating a lot of food, you're drinking a lot, you can be acting out a lot of things in that area, your second chakra. This is your lower chakra, as I'm talking. Now let's mm -hmm. go to number three. This is my chest. Everyone, if you can see me, you can touch your chest, you can make little circles around that area. Yeah, there we go. It's the tip of your rib cage, the sterum area here. This is, what is this? Your willpower. You're determined. Right. I'm a New Yorker. Don't tell me what to do. That's your third right there. Now we're going to move on up. We're almost there. My heart chakra, and that is my unconditional love chakra. That's my fourth chakra. Mm -hmm. Then we have the communication chakra. That's your throat chakra. Sometimes we can talk too much, or sometimes we can speak the truth, or sometimes we need to speak with kind words. Then we go into the third eye, your telepathic energy, the wisdom to know the difference. And then we reach up to the crown of our head, and guess what that is? Your spirituality. Hallelujah. There we go. <laughs> I is, travel, I you, travel through the chakras. Yes, but if you keep that in alignment, mm -hmm. when, you're talk, when you're talking about living your best life, I'm telling everyone out there, take your inventory every day see what you're doing am i eating too much did i do can i just did i do any work did i work out this morning or did i call my friends to take those are your chakras in your alignment and your body wow. will tell you. yeah wow wow and you can wow. go deep into it i'm not going to go deep you can go to uh horoscope signs you can go into uh what is the other thing you can go into oh you can go into the chanting yes. Yes. yeah so it's so many things you can do it's fun. 
Yeah. Well, once again, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's a part of, um, uh, it's a system that we aren't so accustomed to. I think no. it's getting more and more, um, and I don't want to say mainstream, because when I say, when I, when I say mainstream, then we tend to filter things. And I don't want to filter a practice that has thousands and thousands of years of perfection, because when we add our stuff to it, <laughs> you know, it becomes modified and watered down and changed. And I, you know, coming from someone who really is authentic about it and where you're coming from, I applaud you and I thank you for your knowledge in, 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 in educating people about just how to access uh, these, these areas of life that we just don't really know about. No, they don't know it. They don't know about it. And this is why as, uh, I have a school. I have a, a yoga for soul school. It's an RYT. That's register yoga teacher, 200 hours. I'm an E500. So that means not that many of us in color on, on that pro in that program, in that school, I can certify you to become a yoga teacher. And it's wow. a 200 hour course. Right. And I've done it. I, I have a few, uh, maybe, a, maybe not that few of color, but I've certified a lot of instructors throughout the years. Right. And, you know, and, I, and, and what happens is that when you're saying stay true to yourself, how I came up with Yoga for Soul was that I came into the, I would say, in Harlem, let's just say Harlem in New York City when I was mm -hmm. teaching, I would add soul music to the yoga. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. way people would feel comfortable listening to Marvin Gaye or Barry White or doing their sun salutation to, yeah. to keep on moving, oh, oh, soaring on my stars. So I blended those two together. And then that's how this teacher training got started. And it wasn't like as if I just say, let me do a teacher training. It took at least five years just to get all of the information together. And wow. so I don't like to skip out anything. So mm -hmm. I pretty much, when I'm teaching a yoga class, um, everybody knows he's not going to skip out that much. I'm going to give you a little bit of Sanskrit. I'm going to give you a little bit of history. I'm going to kick your butt, make you sweat, and make you work out. That's yeah. one segment. And this is called, as, as a fitness instructor, we call it the aerobics belt. To so take gotcha. you through a little aerobics belt. And, and when you've been doing it for a long time, you know that aerobics belt applies in everything. Yeah. So the Yoga for Soul School, uh, we do privates as well. And you can go to yogaforsoul.com, check it out. Um, we cover everything, the history. And you can go to Yoga Alliance. Now, Yoga Alliance is who is sponsoring. So that means that I had to go through them through sexual content we had to do also harassment we have mm. to do refunds so it's legit it's not yeah. just like one of these things on you can get yeah. on the instagram you can be a yoga teacher in 10 <laughs> days <laughs> yeah right i hear you i hear you, you know what I mean? or you can be a spin instructor to say it does and you you know i don't want to get off the subject but i just got to share this i was i was yeah. teaching a spin class um uh, what was it? I was teaching it two days ago, a cycling class. And I, this girl, she was telling me, she said, oh, after the class, she said, let me just tell you something. I have a Peloton. And I said, oh, yeah. Oh, you're one of those. And she said, mm -hmm. yeah, but guess what? I can push pause on the Peloton. Uh, I can push pause in your class. We didn't get yeah. a break and she's dripping sweat. So I just, yeah. I let people know that sometimes, even though the technology is out there for everyone. You're still going to need us to yeah. motivate yeah. that human nature, human, human. It just, you know, we there's need that, yeah. now. Yeah. Now. There's nothing that can replace that. You know, I, and I, and I tell people that also it's like, yeah, you have all the technology, but nothing can replace that human touch. That it's, is, it's, getting, it's getting a little scary due to COVID-19. I'm not, yeah. you know, I, yeah. Yeah, you know, my transition, if you look here, this is this is where I'm at, and this yeah. is where I'm teaching at uh, and some of my classes, and I, it's kind of like the norm for me in a way, because yeah. I've been doing it for a, 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 over a year. Uh, outdoors, it takes you three months, 90 days, everybody, to change your habits. Everybody knows that. Three months. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are working outdoors, but what I'm finding out, they're working outdoors and they're injuring themselves. Yeah. Yeah, that they're yeah. not having a trainer or they're not having someone to just kind of look at them and see their alignment. You can yeah. easily injure, injure yourself just doing squats. I'm seeing people squat like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're telling me, you know, listen, what, what, why is my back hurting me? And I'm going, yeah. oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's that's try why. this. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. So, so question right quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? So question right quick. What does what does wellness look like to you? Uh, it, right now, wellness looks like just wellness looks like everyone is in tune with their mind, their body, and their soul. And I'm saying mm -hmm. everyone. Mm -hmm. um, that's what wellness looks like. If 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 we can change that, that's how we can eliminate mental illness. Yes. This is how we can eliminate obesity. Yes. But we have to make it where it's fun, you know. Right. Uh, and we have to also look at what's around you, the poison that's around you, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. food choices you're making. Yeah. And all of these different choices. And, you and wellness meaning taking care of you, internal mm -hmm. as well as external. Mm -hmm. A lot of people since this COVID has happened to them, their family, uh, they're realizing they're not taking good care of themselves. Right, right. So, you know, there's no, no way in wellness for you to take care of yourself for just two weeks. No, unless you're going to do, you know, I'm, that's my job. You got a modeling job to do. I work with celebrities. You got a, a you know, you want to, you want to cast for this and okay, no problem. I know how to set your body up for two weeks only. I can make you just get really lean for two weeks for that job. But this yeah. is not a job. Wellness is every day. Yeah. You know, yeah. and if you can get that in your mind, oh, I need to go for a walk. Or I need mean, just wellness every day. If you can think, you know what, maybe I'll try a different oil. Maybe I'll use olive oil instead of this oil. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll eat some and I, I don't eat um, meat, so maybe I might have a vegetarian day. So that's what wellness looked like for me, and especially in the communities that are really needed the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's um, always, you know, one of the things that I really do believe is, yeah, we getting fit is like one component. Exercise is one component. Nutrition is, you know, another component. Sleep is another component. Mindset is another component, because my thing is, is definitely wellness. How do we get you well? You know, uh, and I think once we understand how to get you well, then everything kind of falls into place. The weight begins to drop off because your mindset is changing. You know, because we are seeking wellness, uh, your food choices and habits change. You know, so let's let's get after wellness first. You know, let's make that your prime. Let's make that your, you know, yeah, we can talk about, you know, uh, the beach body and all that good stuff. And that's cool. But let's 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 really chase after wellness, because once you do that, then everything else falls into place. Exactly. And I yeah. mean, you know, like I, I use her, for example, like Lizzo, you know, she she's an overweight woman. She mm -hmm. knows that. But she's at her size. Yes. 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 Right. I tell people all the time, I get, I, I have so many varieties. We, we call them Thomas. You know, these are different body types, mesoformin. And some yes. of these words you might not know, a Todd knows, but this is our language that we use so we can diagnose. What we have here is a shaman. I'm looking at you. I know your pear shape. I know your, your status. You're a little slow. So I have to design a different program for you. But it's all, I like to make it as natural as possible where it doesn't cost you too much or it's just something so simple. Yeah. I see yes. people that are pear shape are in very good shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who are very skinny and you think they're lean and mean and they're out of shape. The they have shape. to be out of shape. It's not about being out of shape, it's about wellness. Yeah. It's about understanding, I had a pizza, it's okay to have that pizza because you know what? I do this every time I go for a walk tomorrow. I might do a little bit of weight training. I see my friends over here. We, you know, whatever. You, you, you're keeping your body moving. And long as yeah. you keep moving, that's the first start. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, it's um, uh, one of the things that I do want to talk to you about is your yoga thing because uh, yoga and is it takes patience. I think because you know, I, I we're we're so driven for. To, to, with expectation, and we're always looking for outcome and results. And so yoga is something that you have to just really, it has to become a part of, I think, your lifestyle for you to really to seek the true benefits out of it. Uh, so it can't be the two week thing. And then you say, well, I don't get, I don't see what yoga is doing. So how can people actually with yoga develop a balanced life? 
uh, pranayama breathing. Okay, okay, okay. Breathing. I think, you know, if you look at any of the great uh, spiritual leaders, even Ayana, she everybody says, take a breath, take a breath. Yeah. Breathing is the most important thing. Now, and I'm going to stand up and just show you real briefly as I'm over here. You know, yoga is everything about you doing your practice is your body weight. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have to understand that you don't need nothing but you. So these are weights over here. If you can't lift your own body weight up, who are you going to lift up? You got to lift your soul up. Yeah. Yoga comes into what we call a layer of eight limbs. They call it the eight limbs of yoga. Like you were talking about, you have the mindset, you have to have your nutrition. The same yeah. thing with yoga. Most important thing is balanced poses. Very mm -hmm. important in yoga. Mm -hmm. First. Second thing I would suggest for you to do, simple. Just cry, take that left leg over, take your right arm. What am I doing? I'm just doing a simple twist and maybe in my office. Why are you doing this twist? The reason why is because the colon starts on the left side. You're getting into the internal organs, working on touching your chokes. I, I'm, in, I'm in a chair, so there's no right. excuse. Yoga can be something you can do at home while you're watching TV. That is just the basic part of yoga. Then you go into the athletic part of yoga. So we know that part. Yeah. We don't yeah. want to go there yet. That's more or less where that you need someone to help you. But I always tell people yoga should be a part of your life every day. Now, there's a book I sell called The Five Tibetan Rites. And also on Charles Jojo Tyler YouTube page, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you see me up there with underwear on. That's right. I said it. Okay. Up, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm in, I'm, I'm, you know where I'm at? I'm over, not Roosevelt, I'm by Roosevelt Allen in New York City. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm doing the tradition yoga. And then the wow. tradition yoga, I'm giving you a secret. It's the five Tibetan rites. On my shopping page, I sell the book and you get a little, D, a little CD with music affirmation CD. Now, there's five different types of yoga poses. That's it. And it was from the five Tibetan rites. Why? The five Tibetan rites, they was up in Tibet. Think about it for a few moments. They couldn't <laughs> gossip. They didn't smoke. They, had, they couldn't lie. They had to practice their truth. No sexuality, nothing. Yeah. Okay? They had to practice all of that back then. So all of the movements are in your first and your second chakra. Wow. So, for example, you know, I, I don't want to show it here because I could do it, but the point I'm making is just five simple movements. The core is the most important element. These five movements is what they made out of Ashanda, Jivimuki, Om Yoga, mm -hmm. all of these branches, even BKS, even Bikram. I don't know if you know Bikram, oh, yeah. Hot, yeah. Yoga. hot Yoga. So Hot Yoga, what is Hot Yoga, everybody? 26 poses done two times in a hot ass row, <laughs> you know? And so of course, some people like that because you're, they think they're sweating out and detoxifying. Yeah. You know, yeah. It yeah. Depends. but the downfall about having a hot yoga class is this, you might overextend your joint because of the, because yeah. you're like, oh, I feel good. And you can dislocate your uh, rotator cuff. Wow. I've seen happen and, wow. and certain injuries in the knee. Yeah. So in these five Tibetan rites, I, he, you know, write it down, everybody, five Tibetan rites, five poses, and I was in my underwear, and I was telling you, you can get right off your bed in the morning time. First thing, you spin around in a circle 21 times. Two and one is three. The universe is in three. Everyone, mm -hmm. why is the universe is in the number three? Beginning, that's when you were born. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm talking to Todd. Right now, I'm living in the moment. And what's the next moment? Death. Yeah. That's your three moments. Yeah. In, wow. in Mexico, in Mexico, they have a, a picture of that, of, of like a baby, a doll, yeah. and a skull. Yeah. Anyhow, so then the second one, you're laying on your back, and you're going to be doing leg lifts. The third one is going to be camel pose. The second one is tabletop. And then, I mean, the fourth one is tabletop. And then the fifth one, you go right into up dog, down dog. All right. of these poses, I'm telling you, they connected it to yoga nowadays. Now they made it more complicated when you're putting your leg over your head. Yeah. You're, you're rotating your arms around. So, But those are the five yoga poses. Five Tibetan rites. Right. Don't forget, everybody. That is so amazing. I never knew that about Bikram, but that makes total sense. 
yeah. uh, you know, you can jump into that thing a little bit too early and uh, not be as conditioned as you think you are. And uh, because of the heat and, you know, feeling loose and that whole thing. And exactly. course, wow, never thought of that. Wow, that's really good. So listen, um, here we are, here we are. Uh, we have a scenario. I need three solutions to a problem, okay, that I have, all right? Now, uh, these are, this isn't my problem, but it's a scenario, okay, hypothetically speaking here. All right, so I'm an individual and I'm coming to you, Mr. Jojo, all right? I am, I'm, I'm 80 pounds overweight, okay, pre-diabetic. I can't stand my job, okay, I hate my job. All right. And my stress level is at a 10. All right. So so what three things can an individual do, you know, to start to change this stuff around, turn this thing around? Oh, help. Help me. <laughs> yeah. Well, pre-diabetic. I mean, that's 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 your warning sign right there. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, with overweight of 80 pounds and also just kind of not really enjoying your life because you're probably working a job that you've had for many years and that's happens to a lot of people and that causes stress for that person to probably eat a lot yeah or yeah and and, and be deconditioned as they say yeah yeah um the first thing i would do is as a shaman is that i would take them for a walk okay wow i would take them on and i always believe in taking them for a walk in the park or somewhere of that nature so they can have some gratitude and they can just sit and breathe Mm. Why I break down what has to be done. Wow. The first thing I would tell them is that your life is in jeopardy. Mm. And the second thing I would tell them is that you're walking now, and guess what? You're saving a little bit of your life right now, walking, wow. just walking. Wow. Yeah. And the third thing is that you're going to have to take a few moments, and I want you to sit down, and I want you to write down what you really want out of life. Mm. And you might even not know what you really want out of life. But eventually, the more and more I work with that person, I will find out what they really want. Because that's the last part of the third, the three things, the last part. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a type of person, I'm going to give you the breast, as they say. I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to tell you that you need to lose weight. That's your first thing. You need mm -hmm. to get the blood flowing in your body so your brain would start to go, I don't like this job. I need to start looking for another job. Don't mm -hmm. leave that job because you got to pay me for the services. So keep that job. <laughs> yeah. So, but Todd, I, and a lot of my clients can tell you this, I, and I'm known for this. Once I gave you all that I can give you, guess what I do? I break the umbilical cord and I set you free. Yes. And what I mean by that is that you understand your wellness. You understand your mind-body connection. You know you have to work out no matter what. You know what the problem is. I don't have to coach you through it. My job is done. But for yeah. a person that's pre-diabetic, the first thing you want to do is you want to let them know your life is in jeopardy. And yeah. if you just go for one walk. And I, I'm a type of person, I would kind of like have you on a tracker. I would go mm -hmm. like, you walk today. You know what I mean? And I would, it wouldn't be t that tough love. It would be like, come on, you got you to do something just yeah. to see. I, would, I wouldn't put them on a scale or anything. What would you do? Well, you know, it's interesting that you say that because uh, years ago, this is in Pelham Bay Park. Um, oh, wow. Uh, yeah. 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 And uh, uh, one of my clients, uh, she was, you know, morbidly obese. And uh, she came to me and she said, Todd, I need to lose weight. And so my question to her was why? You know, what's going to be the difference between, because we know you've been down this road before, what's going to be the difference now versus right. the times before? What is your reason why? So she established a reason why, and her reason was really powerful, and I'll never forget it. She says, because I don't think I'm going to see the age of 46. Okay. And I want to live. Send chills on my body. How can I turn away? That's you know? it. And, and so the first thing we did, it's interesting that you said what your remedy was or your solution, your first one was walk because that's exactly what we did. We went to yeah. Pelham Bay Park and we walked about maybe 50 yards and that was that. And you could walk to Orchard Beach from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, you know, and we eventually did. But yeah. our, first, our first step was to get 50 feet. Right. <laughs> You know, and 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 I would say 80 pounds later, she was running that whole Pelham Bay uh, football soccer field, you know, 
And she so she got the bug. Yeah. 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 She got the bug. So, so you're, you're, you, we, we hit it just right there, man. When you said, let's go for a walk and let's, let's have a conversation, but she established her reason why. And that, I think that was the most important part right there because she had to admit that she wanted to live. Yes. And so, yeah. Yeah. So that was, that was my solution, man. So I, I we're just right in alignment with one another on that one. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, I I've, I've had, I mean, it depends on it. You know, I I uh, she had twins. Oh gosh, one of my <laughs> clients was pregnant with twins, and I knew and she didn't even know this, but I was giving her like an H I T T class and yeah, high. Yeah, yeah. Training. Why she had two babies? Ooh. And the reason why is no, but you know why? Because the whole thing is that the point I'm making is that. When you're looking at the condition of someone, don't think that they're ill. Yeah. I, learned, I learned that from seniors. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. for example, when I'm dealing with seniors, let me just show you. I'm dealing with 85 years old, your grandmother. With them. <laughs> I got it. You. you know, I'm, think, I'm trying to be gentle with it. I'm just yeah. saying, yes. and we call this evidence-based false prevention. About 75% of seniors fall, but they don't want to tell you. And they don't know how they fall. So they yeah. fall elbow or their face so i said you just fell down and then i would tell them put your arm up and you would see some of them just going there wow. that and that to me i let them know i give you what we call levels i give you level one level two level three beginning intermediate and advanced you want to give it to everyone and that's what i mean with uh, with uh my client uh, mia she's a lawyer by the way and she was so strong that she had so much energy, I was like, you need to do, you, you don't need to do just the prenatal. You don't need to just do the sitting on the ball. Yeah. I gotta move your body. And yeah. it worked really well because when she, after she had her baby, she was much stronger. Oh yeah. Yeah, awesome. she balanced awesome. a little bit better. Question right quick as we come to, uh, 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 come in for a landing here, Jojo. Oh. What, what gives you the motivation? What gives you the passion for life? Ooh. Passion for life. I guess um, living on this earth mm -hmm. with a healthy mind and respecting others and being kind yeah. to other people and trying my best to see something good in everyone. Wow. Every soul. Um, try to speak to everyone mm -hmm. with just a hi or how you doing. Yeah. And also always think of giving someone a compliment yeah whether yeah. it's their shoes the shirt and be sincere about it and yeah. that's yeah that's me and that has worked for me in in many ways and you know as a buddhist and yeah. you know uh I, I would say benefits they call it benefits benefits yeah. come smile. and what i mean by benefits i don't mean you know, working with this cast or working with this celebrity or whatever, that's, yeah. that's another benefit. I'm talking about a benefit when I get to the pool and it's crowded and someone go, hey, how are you? You know what? I'm ready to leave. You want my chair? Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. going, yeah. And I'm thinking <laughs> to myself, the reason why that person is offering me a chair is because some way, somehow, I probably spoke to them nice. I probably yeah. was kind to them. I might have yeah. gave them a compliment. And, 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 and it, that's what I mean by the benefit of the world. So I, I look at that, and you have to have a healthy mind to do that. You have to have a healthy temple. Yes. This is your temple, everyone. This is just like a car. You got to take care of it. And, yeah. and I emphasize on this. I have family members that look at me, and they're like, they roll their eyes, and they still eat bacon. <laughs> I, you know, but I can tell you right now, some of them have the, what we call knee surgery, the, the mm -hmm. line of the knees. Mm -hmm high blood pressure. They're looking at my Instagram, Jojo's Energy, or the Shama Fitness one. They're checking out the DVDs I'm doing. They're seeing I'm doing this for this person or whatever. Now I'm getting uh, uh, texts from, from my family members. I went for a bike ride today. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. So that's another thing that makes me happy. Even though it took a long time for me to beat them up, you know, yeah. to say, hey, when are you going to stop? You know, I'm not telling you to stop doing this. But why don't you do some of this? <laughs> and so the body is amazing. Yeah, the body is amazing. And it, it can change no matter what age 
you know? No matter uh, what age. Yeah, no matter what age, you just have to just start. <laughs> you know, you just have to just start. And you know, so so Jojo, what I got, one of the couple of things that I really, really got from you today, and this is and this is not all that I got from you. I totally enjoyed your presence today and enjoyed everything you shared. So thank you so much. But one thing that I do want to share with everyone right quick, and I don't know if you thought about it too, but two things that really struck me is Jojo's zest for life to give. That's one thing. As, as, you, as you just put out there, the things that you love to give, a smile, a hello, you know, all those things come from the inside. And they really, it's really a, 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 a look at what's going on in the individual. And when I lived in New York, you know, one of the things that um, people always said, oh, don't speak to people, you know, but I was like, I can't fall into that, cannot fall into that. I, 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 I can't do it. So I spoke with people, spoke to people. If you look at me eye to eye, I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to say, hi, hi, you know, what's up? Oh, what's up? Or oh, hi, or what have you? I'm going to speak, you know, so I appreciate that. And then uh, the other one was have fun, you know? And that seems to be a, all that, that seems to be a, 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 such, a, you know, elements of who you really are. Love to give and a guy that just loves to have fun. <laughs> I have fun, yeah. Yeah, you got, yeah no. 27 years, I must be having some kind of fun. Yeah, you, gotta, you better be having fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so well, where can where can we find you out there, man? Where what is your website again? Your business, your Instagram? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'm, well, I'm located. I'm actually I'm I'm located in Harlem. Yes, and I'm I'm based in Harlem, but I am on JoJoSkinergy.com, and that's where you can see my schedule for classes. You can go for yogaforsoul.com, and that would give you information regarding my teacher training program. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is always ongoing, the teacher training program. Um, you can even Google JoJo's Energy, and you'll find me. Uh, I'm all over social media with that. Um, far as, like, where, you know, I, I did a lot of consulting jobs. I, I worked with Harlem Cycle, the first cycling studio in Harlem. Uh, we did the New York Times. I'm, I work with the Wirecast. So I'm always about in the city. And you'll see me always on 125th Street or on my bike sometimes. And I have even business cars passing them out sometimes, too, because awesome. I'm, I'm awesome. an entrepreneur. In yeah. This. yeah. But um, my YouTube page is Charles Jojo Tyler. You can see workouts out there. And, and if you go to the YouTube page, I want you to check out the variety of workouts I have up there. That's what, that's what's, you know, where you're going to see the chameleon and what we're talking about as a person who can give you what you need, but I need to see what you have and then I can give you what I have and then we wow. can bring it together. So, um, and my clients, believe it or not, uh, is my life and savers. So I tell people all the time that there's still people out here. I'm a person here for you. And, you know, a lot of people think, personal training is an expensive business. It's not an expensive for anybody to deal with their health and wellness. And just remind you, I do a 90 days with you. I, I you know, if you come to my website, I do only 90 days. What I mean by 90 days is this, I'm going to make sure you get everything in 90 days. And then after that, I'm like, do you want me or not after 90 days? Just give me 90 days to work with you. Uh, J O J O S E N E R G Y.com. And that's my, what I'm promoting now. So when you click on the website, you will see a, a little banner. Just hit that, and you can sign up at any given time. And I'll work with you uh, when it comes to life coaching. I work with people when it comes to yoga. I have baby mamas, mama mm -hmm. babies I'll be working mm -hmm. with as well. <laughs> yeah, as, you know, and, you know, and it's funny because I'd say, I say celebrities and people. The reason why I say that is because I have a closure you know, when you sign, and we have to sign a, 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 a agreement mm -hmm. not to say anything. Yeah. But I mean, now, and the people who I work with, the Sonya Song from The Wire, uh, I know Michael K. Williams uh, mm -hmm. back in the day when we were doing those jobs, but then also uh, Governor Patterson, Michelle Patterson, mm -hmm. um, she's a client of mine. And so my clients range from that, and it range from, it range from my girlfriend, Kamali, to live in that building over there who is a real estate agent. So, okay. you know, I, yeah, so my client, it's not no up and down. Yeah, yeah, it's wide. 
And yes. I work with you. I, I work with your budget and everything. I, I don't yeah. try to, oh, it's set this price. No, <laughs> I work with my clients uh, all the time. So that's, that's where I'm at. So check me out. You can see it right there, too. I even spelled it for you on my uh, Zoom. Todd, awesome. thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was fun doing this with you, man. Man, this was, this was awesome. Thank you so much, man, for hanging out with, with us a little bit today. I've enjoyed, I, like I said, when I first came to your website, I said, I've got to find out you know, who Jojo is. <laughs> and so the next time I'm up that way, man, the next time I'm up that way, I've got to come to Harlem and we have to go somewhere and uh, hang out, man. I would love to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You, you know, you know, it's got to be an activity. Or something. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Like I said, that's why I didn't say anything specific. I'm just leaving it open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm the type of friend, I, real quick, I had my friend came up here uh, from, she came, where did she go? Oh, Delaware. And we met up and I said, hey, guess what? I got the pedal balls. Let's play pedal ball. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Like I said, that's why I didn't say eat. I didn't say anything. I just no, left no, it open. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm, I'm the guy, listen, if you take me to the beach, everybody knows, okay, we're going to the beach. Jojo going? Yeah, he's going. Okay. They don't have to worry about the activities. I'm in charge. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I'm, bring, I'm bringing the frisbee, the pedal ball, the volley, you know, because that's just, that's just me, you know. Yeah. You know like, yeah. Health is wellness, everybody. I want you to have fun in your success or in your journey on a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We're talking about living your best life. Todd is telling me uh, some good things about this podcast. So hopefully everybody check me out and check him out. And yeah. I look forward to seeing you come up to NYC Harlem. Hey man, I can't oh. wait, I can't wait. So thank you once again. So thank you everyone for hanging out with us. I know that I am full right about now. I got a lot of great information and I can't wait. I got chills on me just like listening to this guy, you know, speak to us a little bit today. So everyone, listen, take this information, okay? And 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 apply it because I don't care. You know, we 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 are we seem to be information gatherers, but we're not uh, action takers. <laughs> And so what we want are action takers, and that's what we need to start doing. So yes, get the information, but at the same time too, we wanna to make sure that we're taking the steps and taking the actions to live our best life. So once again, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Take care now, peace.